Dr. Bill Cut. <laughs> hello lovely viewers welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video my returning subscribers you guys are awesome thank you so much for always watching my videos and my new subscribers you are highly welcome into the family thank you so much in today's video i'll be making spicy nutritious light soup in the Ghanaian way yes if you've been following me, upload my last cooking upload was how to prepare cassava and plantain fufu yes in that video i made mention of this soup that i have the recipe on my channel but unfortunately the unexpected happened i mistakenly deleted this video from my channel yes this was so bad in the process of putting the link into other videos i mistakenly swipe it away and it was deleted I was like, oh my god, not now, not now that I need the watch hour. So now I've lost the video, I've lost all the watch hours. So you guys should please watch this video till the end. I regain all the watch hours that I have lost. So now let's get into the recipe. Here are my ingredients that I'll be needing. Here is my vegetables. I have one carrot zucchini I'll be needing eggplants here is bell pepper the yellow and the red one I have fresh tomatoes here onions three scotch bonnets my chopped onion I'll be steaming the meat with this one then this is the mixture of garlic, ginger, and onion. Okay. This is a mackerel fish. My assorted meat. This is chicken, hard chicken. Also, cow leg, bokoto. Okay. And here is shaki. Here is my seasoning. I have black pepper, curry powder, nutmeg, salt, seasoning cube, okay, and my all-purpose seasoning, aromat, and also tomato puree. Yes, I'll be making use of this one too. What else? Okay, I've introduced everything. This recipe, you can decide to use only chicken for it. If you like add chicken you can also decide to use assorted meats you can also decide to use fish different types of fish both grilled fried or dry fish yes you can decide to use any type of protein of your choice the main ingredient here is the vegetables you can change the protein to your to your taste okay so the main ingredient is the vegetables even the vegetables you can decide to take some out of it or add some into it but this is how i prepare my own okay so now first of all i'm going to i'm not going to use all this one just a little piece okay i'll take the size that i want i'm going to wash and cut the vegetables and then cook it in here okay I'm, I'm making use of this much the eggplants this size is okay for me and also the bell pepper I don't want the vegetables to be too much if not the soup will be thick and it has to be light that's why it is called light soup okay so I'm going to wash this and cut it into pieces and add it to my pot here is my veggies cut and washed okay so now i'm going to add water to it then i bring it to a boil okay now i'm going to add all the meat into my pot okay 
Here is the assorted meat. I've already washed everything, okay? Now to the meat, I had my seasoning. This is one seasoning mm -hmm. Maggi shrimp. Okay. Black pepper. Nutmeg. Curry powder, all pepper seasoning, aromat, some salt to taste. Mixture of garlic, ginger, and onion. I blended this mixture by myself. Some chopped onions. Then I add a little bit of water to cook it. For this fish, I'm going to grill it in the oven, okay? I've already washed it. You can add any type of fish of your choice, cut fish, dry fish, any fish you have available. Also, sorry, I'll be adding this thin mackerel. I didn't show you earlier on, okay? I'll be adding some of this to it. After cooking the veggies for some time, this is how it looks like. So it's okay like this, not overcooked. So I'm going to turn off the fire, then I set it aside to cool down a little bit before putting it into the blender to blend. So I'm going to set this aside to cool down, then I check on the meat. Give it a good stir. and then cover it back to continue cooking. This is the veggies. After cooling down, I add it into the blender. So I'm going to blend this smoothly, okay? Now I'm going to add the blended veggies to the meat. I don't think I'll be making use of everything. It's too much. I don't want it to be thick. Okay? I'll store the rest in the fridge. Then I add my tomato puree. This is a half. Okay, I don't know if it will be enough. If not, I'll open this one and add a little bit more. Okay. Then I rinse the bottle with water. Give it a stir. Okay. 
then I'll cover it to continue cooking. I'll add more water later because yes, I'll add the water. I don't think I'll be adding these tomatoes. It's okay. I don't want it to be too thick. I like it when it is light. And more tomatoes will low down the power of the pepper. Yes, I added three bonnet pepper. I want it to be spicy, so I'm not adding tomato puree again, okay? So I leave it to continue cooking for some time before adding water. I'm going to store the rest of the veggie into the fridge for later use. Yes, okay. Set it aside to cool down before putting it into the fridge. I'm checking back on this soup. Okay. So this time I'm going to add one more seasoning cube and a little bit of salt, okay? Then I add water to it. Okay. Then I add enough water because I don't want it to be thick. Enough water, yes, it's okay. Then I leave it in the medium heat to cook. Remember our fish, our mackerel fish is still in the oven. I will later put it in together with this, okay? Here is the fish, the mackerel fish that I grilled in the oven, okay? Here is it, ready? So now I'm going to open this one too. This is how it looks like. Okay. Now checking on my soup. We are almost there. You can see. Mm. The aroma is something else. So at this point, I'm going to add the fish. Okay. I'm adding this same mackerel. Okay. It's okay. Then I'll add this one too. Now give it a good stir. The soup is ready, so because of the fish that I added now, I'm going to leave it on in the low heat, okay? Yes. Now see the texture. This is how I like it, okay? I don't want it too thick. And again, because of the vegetables, if you leave it overnight, it will get more thicker. Yes. So, for the first day, you have to let it be more lighter, okay? So, because of the fish, I'm giving it like two to three minutes more. Then our soup is ready. Here we go. Now my spicy, nutritious, light soup is ready. Mmm. The aroma is not easy. Wow. This is how it looks like. All type of assorted meat in there. Okay. So now this is the soup that I eat my plant, fresh plantain and cassava for food with. Please, if you know you watch that video, please go and check it out. I made a video on how to prepare cassava and plantain fufu on the stove. Yes. So please go and check it out so that you understand more about this soup. As I said, this is my second time of making this recipe. I made it before, but I mistakenly deleted it from my channel, so I had to repeat it and make it all over again so 
this is it this is the soup very simple and easy nutritious as well okay you can give it a try guys where you can not only fufu you can have it with rice yes it's just like pepper soup yes just light pepper soup and put the spices according to how you want it okay thank you guys thank you so much for watching us for watching till this point i really appreciate it thank you so much and please if you are watching and do not click on the red button down there if that subscribe button is still on red please click on it so that it will turn to gray okay that's what we want and feel free to share this recipe okay thank you so much until i come your way next time stay blessed and bye bye